Okay, happy Monday. Jeremiah Conjure here with Annuity Association, and we're going to be discussing another exciting unbiased annuity review. Today, this product is coming from Global Atlantic Financial Group. The product we're going to be discussing today is the Choice Income 2, which is a fixed indexed annuity with the option for lifetime income, both uh, at a guaranteed fixed rate to grow that income benefit, as well as what we call a performance driven option, which we'll delve into momentarily to educate you on how that specifically works. Before we get started, let me go ahead and share my screen where we can cover our handy dandy disclaimer and get that fun legal stuff out of the way. Thank you for joining me today. Okay, so again, we're talking about the Choice Income 2. This is a fixed indexed annuity brought to you by Global Atlantic, and this is an independent review brought to you by annuityassociation.com. This is a review, not a recommendation to buy or sell an annuity. Global Atlantic has not endorsed this review in any way nor do we receive any compensation for this review. This review is meant to be an independent review at the request of website visitors so they can see our perspective when breaking down the positives and negatives of this particular annuity. Before purchasing any investment product, be sure to do your own due diligence and consult a properly licensed professional should you have specific questions as they relate to your individual circumstances. All names, marks, and materials used for this review are property of their respective owners and not that of annuityassociation.com. While care has been made to ensure this review is complete and accurate, no guarantees are made to the completeness or accuracy. Okay, we got that stuff taken care of. If this is the first time you're watching, first and foremost, thank you for tuning in. We put these reviews out there to help bring more transparency and understanding through education uh, by providing this re these reviews. So uh, this is uh, really to be used as an educational um, from an educational basis to help you understand what it is this product or these products can do for you and help you identify with whether or not there's something you should consider. Um, so in, in part, part of our uh, review today, we're going to be taking a look at the specific product brochure where we'll talk about all of the features and benefits that are offered within this specific annuity. And after that, we'll take a look at what we call our performance analyzer which will take a look at each individual index crediting strategy that's offered in this particular annuity from Global Atlantic and give us uh, an understanding of how these indexes might have performed um, if we own them over the last 10, 15, and 20-year periods. And last but not least, if we have time, we'll also take a look at some example illustrations so that you can get a further understanding of all of the mechanics of this annuity and how it might look on a ledger. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get the product brochure started. And if you have any questions while watching this review, please feel free to post that question in the uh, chat area wherever you might be watching this review, and I will respond in a timely fashion. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Again, we're talking about the Global Atlantic Choice Income 2 Fixed Indexed Annuity. Now, for those not familiar with Global Atlantic, um, they are a, uh, a conglomerate that owns many different um, affiliates, one of those being Forethought Life Insurance Company. So you might see the words Forethought Life Insurance Company. You might also uh, see Global Atlantic uh, on this brochure, but both of them are under the same, uh, you know, entity. So first and foremost, let's talk about the benefits. So this is about addressing retirement. So your retirement could last 30 plus years. And the Choice Income 2 Fixed Indexed Annuity can help you build a guaranteed paycheck for life. Whatever retirement means to you, one thing's for sure, you'll need a source of income that will last as long as you do. If you're looking to secure a source of retirement income that will be there no matter how long your retirement lasts, consider a choice income fixed indexed annuity. The choice income fixed indexed annuity gives you a retirement paycheck you can outlive, personalized growth potential, down market protection, and additional income for a health care need. So let's first discuss what a fixed indexed annuity is. 
The fixed indexed annuity is a long-term savings vehicle that offers tax-deferred potential growth that may be linked to a market index or multiple indices. Fixed indexed annuities are insurance contracts, and they're not registered securities or stock market investments. You're never invested in the index itself with a fixed indexed annuity. And fixed indexed annuities, like choice income, typically feature downside market protection. A fixed indexed annuity may help you offset the ups and downs of equities like mutual funds in a retirement strategy. So how does a choice income fixed indexed annuity work? Your choice income fixed indexed annuity contains two different buckets, one for your contract value and another for the withdrawal base. The contract value is your annuity account balance and the withdrawal base is a figure that will help determine your future income. These different buckets have the potential to grow over time as you accrue interest, though they grow at different rates. Although you're not invested directly in an index, your contract value accrues interest based on index performance. Meanwhile, your withdrawal base may grow using one of two optional strategies available for an additional cost, both of which provide powerful income growth potential. And so here on this graph, you'll see the light shade of green, which is the actual contract value, which includes your initial premium investment plus any interest that's been earned via the index crediting strategies. And then the dark blue you'll see is what's called your withdrawal base or what some may refer to as an income benefit base. And that dark blue figure you'll see grows based on the contractual parameters of the income rider. So there are two different income riders that are available on this particular product. One, which is for growing the income at a guaranteed rate. They call that rider the guaranteed income builder benefit. And then there's a secondary option, which we'll talk about momentarily, that is uh, using what we call a performance-driven um, method to increase your lifetime income. So how is the guaranteed lifetime income payout calculated? When you choose to start your income, your income payments are based on the withdrawal base growth option that you originally selected. The amount your withdrawal base has grown to, your current age, and whether you elect single or joint lifetime guaranteed income. Imagine this, you purchase a choice income fixed indexed annuity and choose the optional income multiplier benefit to grow your withdrawal base. But by the time you're 72, your withdrawal base grows to 260,000 and you decide to activate your lifetime income. You choose whether it be joint lifetime income for you and your spouse or single. And based on the income multiplier benefit, lifetime withdrawal percentages, which we'll see on page eight, you and your spouse would receive 4.95% of your $260,000 withdrawal base, which would equate to $12,870 every year for the rest of your lives. That means that even after you pass, your spouse will keep getting that same amount, $12,870 every year for life too. And with the income multiplier benefit option, those payments may even increase after you start receiving income. So when it comes to activating the guaranteed lifetime income benefit, you only have to make two decisions. Number one, when you'd like to start receiving lifetime income. And number two, if the lifetime income will be paid to just yourself or to both yourself and your spouse. So how do you continue to receive guaranteed income for life? When you start receiving income, lifetime income payments come from the contract value, not the withdrawal base. As long as you don't take excess withdrawals, your income never goes down due to lifetime income payments and may potentially go up for as long as you live. And your spouse, too, if joint income is selected, even if your contract value is depleted. So here's how it might look. When you begin receiving income, your income is based on the size of your withdrawal base, which never goes down due to lifetime income payments and may potentially even go up. Your income comes from your contract value, but even when depleted, you'll still get lifetime income. So <clears throat> in an indexed annuity, you have essentially two values that are working, in most cases, uncorrelated to one another. The first is what we call your contract value. Some may also call it account value or accumulation value. 
And then you also have what's called the income benefit base or the withdrawal base. In this uh, particular product, they refer to it as the withdrawal base. So they're separate columns or separate values that are growing based on um, a few things. The income rider contract, which grows the withdrawal base, and then the index credits that come in from the index crediting strategies, those also can grow your contract value. So even if the contract value after you turn on income, because just like any other type of account, once you start taking income withdrawals, whenever income comes out, it's going to come out of the contract value. If you were to deplete that contract value to zero, this annuity, and just like most other fixed indexed annuities with lifetime income riders, will still guarantee that that income will never cease. It will continue paying the same amount as though the contract value never went to zero. So even if it were to deplete completely, the income will still continue paying for the rest of your life or you and your spouse if set up for joint lifetime income. So what are the two withdrawal base growth options? Initially, your withdrawal base amount is the same as your contract value, but over time, your withdrawal base may grow through one of two growth options. <clears throat> so first is the income multiplier benefit, which is what I've been referring to as performance driven. And when elected, this adds two times any interest credits your contract value earns to your withdrawal base before income starts and continues earning one X or one times after. So Whenever an index credit comes into the account, it's going to credit the contract value, but multiply the interest by two, in this case, two times. And that's how much interest will be credited to that withdrawal base to grow that income benefit uh, rapidly over time. The second option is you can elect what's called the guaranteed income builder benefit. And this builds your withdrawal base with a steady 8% annual growth guaranteed. So it's not determined based upon the index credits that are coming into the contract value. In this case, if you elect to have the guaranteed income builder benefit, that withdrawal base amount is going to grow guaranteed by 8% annually. So it is not variable. It will not fluctuate. It will be a steady 8%. So really, we want to you know, just figure out which option makes the most sense for you. We must only choose one option. And here's an interesting thing is the Global Atlantic Choice Income 2 fixed indexed annuity also provides the potential for powerful rising income through the income multiplier benefit if selected offers potentially for powerful interest crediting towards your withdrawal base to help you build your future income and designed to help offset the risk of inflation. This option works in two stages, the building income and the taking income stages. During the building income stage, <clears throat> that's when the interest credits receive a two times multiplier uh, for your contract value and may earn is added, excuse me, to your withdrawal base for future income. So during that building income stage, before electing to turn on the income benefit, any interest credits that come into the account will receive a 2x multiplier. And that 2x multiplier is what's used to build that withdrawal benefit. So for example, if the index credits came in to the account or excuse me, contract value, let's say that interest credit was 5%. The 5% would then have a 2x multiplier added to it, growing it to 10%, and that 10% would be credited to the withdrawal benefit. Very cool. In this example on the graph, once the income activation is elected, in this case it's showing after year 8, then any future index credits that come in only receive a 1x multiplier. So 5% comes into the contract value. 5% is also credited to the income uh, benefit or the withdrawal benefit. And then the uh, rest of the calculation to determine how much lifetime income you'll receive is if we elect the income multiplier benefit, the lifetime withdrawal percentages are as follows. And this is contractual. One of the things that unique about a income annuity is that <clears throat> all of the components regarding the income are contractual. They cannot change in most cases. So what we see here is that the 
payout percentages or withdrawal percentages are decided or determined based upon the income age or the age at the time you elect to turn on the income. And so with this option, you decide when to activate your income, whether it be at age 67, 72, 80, or whenever, it's up to you. And when the benefit is activated, you're guaranteed a percentage of the withdrawal base annually based on your age and whether you chose single or joint lifetime income. So here are the latest percentages. So let's say you're going to retire at your full retirement age uh, for Social Security purposes at age 67. If you were to elect income at age 67 for a single joint or excuse me, single lifetime income benefit, the payout percentage would be 4.95% of whatever that withdrawal base has grown to. In the event you elect for joint, it's 50 basis points less at 4.45% since it's covering two lives. The nice thing is that you do not have to pick single or joint life until you start your income. So you might you know, sign up for joint or you know, buy the annuity based on thinking you're going to want joint or vice versa. And um, at, any, at the time that you go to elect the income, there is a with, uh, income election form that will be filled out. And at that point is when you would elect whether it be single or joint life benefit. The Global Atlantic Choice Income 2 also offers powerful guaranteed growth. The Guaranteed Income Builder Benefit, if selected, gives you a guaranteed 8% added to your withdrawal base every year. For example, a $100,000 Choice Income Fixed Index Annuity Purchase would mean $8,000 added to your withdrawal base annually, even if you delay starting your income for 10 or 20 plus years. So during those two phases, the building income stage, during that stage, the withdrawal base grows by a guaranteed 8% every year before you start taking income and then at the time you elect to have income or start receiving it <clears throat> after your income starts both the withdrawal base and your annual income are locked in for life so it will be a fixed payment from that point on it will not increase like the other option for the income multiplier benefit so if you go with the guaranteed income builder benefit it's going to get a guaranteed eight percent but once the income's turned on, it will be a fixed payment and locked in for the rest of your life or joint lives. And the same thing applies for the guaranteed income builder benefit where the lifetime withdrawal percentages are guaranteed and contractual. At that same age, 67, you'll see that they do differ just slightly um, where the payout percentage for a single life at 67 is 4.45% and for joint 3.95%. And same thing when choosing single or joint life, you don't have to decide until you activate your payments. And then here's an additional benefit that's added to the Global Atlantic Choice Income 2 for added peace of mind is the additional income for the unpredictable. So they also include what's called the income enhancement benefit. If selected, it will double your guaranteed lifetime income for up to five years should you face a qualifying health care need included at no additional cost and the details are the enhanced income benefit is an optional benefit available for both single and joint lifetime income you must be 75 years old or younger at the time of the choice income fixed index annuities purchase and the benefit may be elected only after income has been activated you must be certified by a licensed healthcare practitioner as being unable to perform at least two of the six activities of daily living to be eligible for the income enhancement benefit. Once the benefit period ends, you return to receiving the original guaranteed income benefit for the rest of your life. So imagine this, let's continue to use the example from page four when you have purchased a choice income fixed indexed annuity, selected the optional income multiplier benefit to grow your withdrawal base, and then activated your income at age 72. So here you are, you and your spouse, are currently receiving your guaranteed annual lifetime income payments of $12,870. And unfortunately, one year after activating your income, your spouse ex unexpectedly experiences a healthcare setback. Next, you visit your licensed healthcare practitioner where they certify that your spouse is unable to perform at least two of the six activities of daily living. Knowing there will likely be new healthcare expenses, you and your spouse decide to activate the income enhancement benefit at no extra cost 
providing you with $25,740 each year for up to five years. While your spouse recovers over the course of the next five years, you and your spouse receive $128,700 in total. That is an extra $64,350 that may be used to help afford these unforeseen health care expenses. And at the end of the income enhancement benefit period, you and your spouse return to receiving your annual income payments of $12,870 for life. So the, the six activities of daily living are bathing, eating, continence, toileting, dressing, and transferring. Some other advantages of the choice income fixed indexed annuity is that your growth is tax deferred. Your money grows faster with choice income fixed indexed annuity because any growth is tax deferred until you start taking withdrawals. You choose single or joint lifetime income at the time of activating income, and they understand that life happens <clears throat> and changes you know, may be needed. That's why Global Atlantic gives you the option to receive lifetime income for either yourself or your spouse, not at the beginning of the contract, but when you opt to start receiving income. And you can pass on a legacy. Your beneficiaries may receive any remaining contract value as a death benefit. So even once income is turned on, if there's uh, an unexpected death, or maybe it's even expected, if there's anything left in the contract value, that will pass on 100% to your designated beneficiaries, and in most cases, avoid probate. So are you ready to add the choice income fixed indexed annuity to your retirement strategy? Again, the income multiplier benefit will take your withdrawal base and help it uh, potentially increase over time, even after you begin income, but it'll never decrease assuming no excess withdrawals. And with the guaranteed income builder benefit, you can predictably grow your withdrawal base no matter how markets perform or interest rates change. So talk to your financial professional about choice income fixed index annuity today. So if you'd like to work with me directly, uh, I'd be happy to help you compare this annuity to a multitude of others to help you determine whether or not this is something you should consider for your retirement strategy or a part of your retirement strategy. In addition, uh, I'll help you understand the various uh, pros and cons and features and benefits and help you make an informed and intelligent decision on whether or not this is the right annuity for your particular needs. If you'd like to work with me directly, you can go to annuityassociation.com right there on the main page. Click the button to schedule your virtual meeting with myself. I do work with clients in all 50 states, and I'd be thankful to have that opportunity to see how I can help. All right, so let's take a look now um, in regards to the actual index options that are available in the choice income. Now, what's neat about the choice income is that it does come in a couple different contract variations or contract terms. It comes in a 10-year and a 7-year. And so we have both of those options here on our performance analysis um, where we're going to take a look at each individual index crediting strategy and give us an understanding if we were to own this product with all of the contract parameters that are offered today being held exactly the same during these periods of time. It'll help us understand how they might have performed during the last 10, 15, and 20 years. Now, these are gross figures. They're not including any uh, in income riders, <clears throat> which are part of this product. There is an income rider fee of 1.05%, which you'll see here on our screen. And um, what's nice is that we're going to be able to help, you know, help us determine what, what could this potentially look like if markets were to perform similarly and contract terms were to be exactly the same. So <clears throat> the top option coming in is the two-year Franklin U.S. index with a point-to-point -point crediting strategy. Now, two-year, meaning that this particular index has a two-year crediting period, which means every two years, you're going to be eligible to receive an interest credit. And that interest credit is determined by monitoring that index, the, in this case, the Franklin U.S. index, based on the starting point which is when the policy was issued to the ending point, which is the two year anniversary on that anniversary date. So if the ending point or ending value of that index is higher than the starting point, that means you had positive growth for that two year period. And in this case, there's 100% participation and zero spread at this time. So 
whatever the index performed over that two year period, let's say it was 7%, you would receive 100% of that 7% credited to your uh, contract value, which if you have the income multiplier benefit, the income multiplier benefit will also add that 2x multiplier to the withdrawal base. And that example, making that withdrawal base grow by 14%. Now, just factoring in the general crediting index crediting strategies, not including the multipliers for the uh, withdrawal base, <clears throat> you'll see over the last 10 year period, the average annualized rate of return in this hypothetical back test is 7.93%. Over the last 15 years, 7.11%. And over the last 20 years, 7.56%. So pretty fair rates of return considering a, a uh, zero downside risk growth instrument. Now, what's interesting about our software too is that it also is going to help us identify the best 10 year period over the last 20 years in this case from December 30th of 09 to December 30th of 2019, the index annualized rate of return would have been 9.13%. And on the opposite side, this red figure identifying the worst 10 year period over the last 20 years from December 30th of 01 to December 30th of 2011, bringing in a 7.118% average rate of return. That red is still a positive number, it's just red indicating the worst 10 year period. <clears throat> You'll see that this choice income seven using the same two year Franklin US point to point with, a, with zero spread index offers the same rate of return. So in this case, the seven year is, is the better route to go versus the 10 year because there aren't any additional benefits that we can observe at this point uh, based on these figures of why you would wanna lock up the money for that extra three years. Now, they do also offer a slightly different uh, crediting uh, in regards to the guaranteed income builder. So you will notice that if you elect to have the guaranteed income builder income benefit rather than the income multiplier, so that's the guaranteed income builder, remember, is the fixed 8%. <clears throat> if you elect to have that option, there will be a 2% spread that is added to these index crediting strategies. So if we look here, the spread is 2%. Now, if you're not familiar with the term spread, it's essentially a haircut or a cut off the top of whatever indexed interest is earned, the insurance company will, will cut out 2% off the top. So if that, in the same example, over that two year period of time, the index went up 7%, the interest credit that you'd receive would be 5% after that 2% spread is taken off. So I always refer to spread as like if you go to a casino and you play uh, poker, you know, when the casino does the rake and they take some chips off the table and it goes to the house, that's like the spread. And you'll see after factoring in that spread over the same periods of time, the Franklin U.S. index uh, would have performed on an annualized basis 7% during the last 10 years, 6.24 over the last 15, and 6.62% per year over the last 20. The highest 10-year period over the last 20 at 8.2, and the lowest 10-year period over the last 20 at 6.24. Now, there is also an additional index option offered in this particular annuity. It is the one year PIMCO balanced point to point with participation rate. <clears throat> it's 100% participation. And it is good to have another option to be able to you know, diversify our allocation. So for example, if you put $100,000 in, you could elect to put 50,000 towards that two year Franklin and 50,000 towards one, the one year PIMCO balanced index. And then you have a little bit of diversification between different indexes and different index methodologies, and then also diversification because the PIMCO credits every year, and whereas the Franklin credits every two years. So you have the opportunity to have some form of interest credit coming in annually. So the one-year PIMCO balanced point-to-point -point with a participation rate of 100% in the 10-year product 
over the last 10 year period performed on average in a hypothetical back test of 5.69%, the highest 10 years over the last 20 at 6.37%, and the highest, or excuse me, the lowest 10 years over the last 20 um, at 4.63%. Over the last 15, we see 5.51, and over the last 20 at 5.21. Again, just below that, you'll see the seven year product with the one year PIMCO balanced index. <clears throat> Same exact hypothetical back tested return. So we don't see any real big significant benefit of extending the contract to a 10 year term versus the seven. And all of that means, if you're not familiar with these surrender terms, is essentially how long do you have to keep the money in there without having a penalty if you were to surrender the contract? And you'll see here is the surrender charge schedule for the 10 year. You'll see that the surrender penalty, if you were to withdraw the, all of the proceeds, <clears throat> declines by about 1% starting in the third year, ending at 0% after the end of the 10th year. Whereas the seven-year contract, same thing, it declines by about 1% each year, going to zero after the end of the seventh completed year. All right, so since this is an income annuity, let's go ahead and take a look now at how this might actually perform if we were to elect to have the income multiplier benefit. So I'm going to take you into a portion of our uh, income software, and we're going to take a look at an example to see how this might actually you know, perform if we were to elect having the income multiplier benefit. And just bear with me. Let me get this thing loaded up. Okay. Okay. So if you can see this now, what we have here is um, <clears throat> we're taking a look at, excuse me, we're taking a look at the choice income 10, choice income 2, 10 year with the income multiplier option elected for the income benefit. We have a, a hypothetical example showing a male in the state of Florida, age 60, putting $100,000 into this product. We're going to structure it for joint income with his wife also being 60 years young. And we're going to assume that they're going to defer the income for seven years. So we're going to set this age to start lifetime income to age 67. And what you're going to see here is that um, in this example, you're going to notice two income figures to the far right. The orange number is the hypothetical illustrated income based on how the index may have performed over the last 10 years. So what our software is doing is it's analyzing the two-year Franklin U.S. point-to-point -point index with a 0% spread backtesting it over the last 10 years to give us that average rate of return, and then illustrating that, that return moving forward to give us a projection on the hypothetical income at age 67. And so in this case, you'll see that the hypothetical income based on 100,000 is $10,441 starting in contract year eight after seven years of deferral. You'll also see the green number just below that, which is the guaranteed minimum income, which is assuming that there's 0% interest ever earned using that Franklin U.S. index strategy. And if that were to occur and there was 0% interest coming into the account, there still is a guaranteed minimum figure on an annual basis. In this case, it's $4,450. Let's see how that might look on an illustration. So if we come into the illustration tool here, you'll see that in this same example, we have $100,000 going in as the investment premium. We're deferring the income for seven years. And the guaranteed values we're looking at are assuming that a 0% interest credit is, is received every single year. So it's assuming that the indexes are doing zero. You'll notice your income base stays flat at $100,000. That's your withdrawal base. And then you'll notice that the income minimum will be $4,450.
And they're getting that figure based on that lifetime withdrawal rate, which is the percentage of, of the income base that you receive every year once the income is elected. And that number is based on the age and whether or not it's single or joint life. When we come down to the hypothetical values, which is assuming that 10-year uh, hypothetical back-tested index interest is being credited in a similar fashion, we'll see how the income starts now at contract year eight because of the interest credits that are coming in every two years. We'll see that the annualized income starting in contract year eight at age 67 is $10,441. And what's interesting is you also see how the income has the potential to now increase moving forward based on those index interest credits to continuing to come into the account in a similar fashion. So in this case, you know, 20 years into the contract, the income is increased in this example to $15,119. You'll also notice that we have a death benefit column all the way to the far right which is matching the account value. So even one, you know, once income is turned on, there's still an account value somewhat being sustained over a period of time. <clears throat> but in this case, this particular product, based on this hypothetical example, the account value would eventually go to zero in contract year 24, therefore leaving no death benefit left, but the income would still continue for the rest of both of these spouses' lives as long as they should live. So I uh, hope that makes sense to you. Um, one other thing I'll show you before we wrap this thing up is the um, guaranteed income benefit rider, which we'll take a look at that now. That's the one that uh, grows at a guaranteed 8% <clears throat> each year. Take a look at that one. Bear with me. Let me get that loaded up. Again, if you are... Um, you know, interested in working with me directly, you can visit our website at annuityassociation.com. Right there on the main page, you can click the button to request your free virtual meeting. I work with clients in all 50 states, and I would be honored to have the opportunity to see how I can help. Okay, so let's see if I can get this thing loaded up correctly. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm going to share my screen again. All right, so same example, 60-year-old male with a 60-year-old spouse, $100,000 going in as the premium investment. And then we're going to defer it out to age 68, or excuse me, 67, which would be contract year eight. And that's the time we would turn on the income. So you'll see that the interest now is growing the income benefit from $100,000 to now $156,000 based on that guaranteed 8% growth rate on the income benefit or the withdrawal base in this, in this product. That's what they refer to it as. So I got to keep calling it that. <clears throat> You'll see that that once the uh, income or withdrawal base grows to 156,000 based on the age of the joint spousal benefit, the withdrawal percentage that's received is 3.95%. So when you multiply those two numbers together, 156,000 by the withdrawal rate, which is 3.95%, we'll see that that equates to a annual income that's locked in for the rest of their lives of $6,162. We'll notice the rider fee again, it's 1.05%, and that's whether or not you choose the income multiplier benefit or the guaranteed income builder benefit. Both are the same. And really, you know, if you're looking at this product the, and the, the question becomes, you know, how much value do we place on having the guaranteed 8%, you know, over that period of, of deferral versus having the income multiplier benefit, which would in that case would have provided a minimum income of 4450 guaranteed. But if the index interest was to come into the account or those indexes were to perform well, the income could potentially be even higher and continue to increase um, moving forward should the index interest continue to come in. So it's really going to come down to whether or not you see value in that increasing income potential, as well as, you know, do you have the risk tolerance? Because, you know, you're not taking any risk in terms of market downside, 
but you are taking risk in the sense that you're not getting a guaranteed locked in interest rate every year. You're taking the risk that it's going to be somewhat variable based on how those market indexes perform. In any given strategy, if the index performs negatively, the worst you could ever do is a zero. So there's no risk to the markets or any downside risk. It just becomes, you know, just the question becomes whether or not you see value in the increasing income or if you feel more secure and comfortable with that guaranteed income builder benefit offering the 8%. But anyways, I uh, hope you've gotten some value out of this review. If you have, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a, a uh, like or share wherever you might be watching this. It would be greatly appreciated. Again, if you'd like to work with me directly, I work with clients in all 50 states. You can schedule a time for us to speak by going to annuityassociation.com right there on the main page. Click the button to request your free virtual meeting, and I will reach out to you in a timely fashion. So without uh, holding you guys up anymore, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Appreciate uh, all the love and support that we've received with all of these reviews. It's been uh, really remarkable. So happy to put these out there for you. Have a great day. Take care of one another. This is Jeremiah Conjure signing off.